2018 Smart Forfa Review The Good Points of Smart Forfa Practical Features Easy to Maneuver Low Running Costs Premium Chic Appeal The Bad Points of Smart Forfa Expensive to Obtain Rivals are quicker. Not the best. Electric drive has limited range. If the name seems familiar, that says this is the second generation smart forfa. The first one, in accordance with the same underpinnings because the 2004-13 Mitsubishi Colt, didn't sell particularly well, primarily buyers picking the smaller smart forfa instead. This time around it's all change. It's built alongside, and was made in conjunction with, the Renault Twingo, sharing a lot of its technology including engines and transmissions. With the Smart Forto effectively a shortened version of the identical package, this Forfa is effectively a practical four-seater version, hence the name for four, which is the brand's most favoured model inside UK. As well because Twingo, the diminutive Forfa competes against many other models inside competitive city car segment, but due to the Smart's premium pricing, the Fiat 500 along with the Volkswagen are by its biggest rivals. Small yet expensive. Mercedes-Benz owned Smart was required to put reduced slant on things due to the city car, therefore the Forfa gets 40 kilograms of additional sound deadening within the Twingo to assist dull the sound with the engine in the boot floor to help make it more refined, justifying the larger price tag. A assortment of styling and interior trim finishes add further embellishments towards the Forfa's appeal using a raft of two-tone colour schemes inside and outside. Buy into Smart's tailor-made service with the Brabus tuning division as well as a world of seemingly limitless hues and trim materials is exposed to you. Just be conscious personalisation to this particular degree isn't remotely cheap, highs the opportunity you could be lumbered which has a car that's tough to sell on afterwards. Petrol and Electrical Energy Mainstream Smart Forfas possess a choice of two Renault-sourced petrol engines, a non-turbo 1.0-litre unit making a modest 71 horsepower as well as a turbocharged 0.9-litre motor serving up 90 horsepower. Each incorporates a claimed fuel efficiency that has reached over 65 miles per gallon. Both send power exclusively for the rear wheels having a choice of a 5-speed manual gearbox or even an optional 6-speed dynamic dual-clutch automatic. Those who would like something with increased oomph should hunt out your Brabus models, provided by September 2016. The smaller turbo engine may be uprated to 109 horsepower, enough to propel the forfeit to 111 miles per hour and let it to dash from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 10.5 seconds. Brabus Forfas only come that has a dynamic automatic box. The electric drive model joined the stove in 2017, having a 17.6 kWh power supply and distinctive green bodywork. Powered by an 82 horsepower motor producing 160 newton meters of torque, it responds with alacrity around 40 miles per hour and it has a range of 96 miles. By design, it's a mechanical achieving 62 miles per hour in 12.7 seconds. Six standard trim levels. Opt for either in the two lower powered engines on the mainstream Smart Forfa range and you've a range of three trim levels, Pure, Passion, Prime and Prime Sport Premium. Even at the deepest level you will get 15 inch alloy wheels, automatic climate control, isofix child seat mounts inside the rear and cruise control. The removable cargo box and 50 hours 50 minutes split rear seats can also be standard across kids. Moving to higher spec forfers can garner features for example a panoramic glass sunroof, leather seating, sports suspension and larger 16 inch wheels. There's more information within the features section. The sportier forfers are available in two guises, Prime Sport Premium and Brabus Exclusive. Brabus models feature leather sports seats along with a similarly trimmed dashboard with clock and rev counter, JBL speakers, a sports body kit that has a rear diffuser, 17-inch alloy wheels and LED lighting upgrades. Electric drive models appear in in prime premium trim, 
featuring leather seats as well as a panoramic glass roof, together with smart media system with sat-nav. Detailed changes include with all the large color display within the speedometer for engine charge performance, and radar-assisted regenerative braking to recharge the battery. Excellent turbine maneuverability. The beauty around the way the smart drives is always that its engine sits within the rear, between your back wheels and below the boot floor. This allows top wheels plenty of room to go, so because of this the forfa's turning circle is perfectly tiny, rendering it perfect for inner city driving. On more open expanses of road the forfa feels stable and balanced but doesn't deliver huge amounts of fun for enthusiastic drivers, even though Brabus editions create a better fist of things. Rural and city drivers might discover much to love from the electric drive, mainly because it effortlessly relates to the short journeys which are the least appealing for internal combustion engines. Latest deals from Buick are Smart 4 for 1.0 Prime Premium £6,880 or £118 monthly Smart 4 for Hatchback 0.9 Turb £7,500 or £130 monthly. See all deals on Smart 4 for Hatchback. Representative example, representative API of 7.9% borrowing £10,509 over 48 months on HP Type Finance. The total amount payable will be £250 monthly, having a total cost of credit of £1,483 along with a total amount payable of £11,992. Dennis Boo Car Limited, 3132 Alfred Place, London, WC1 E7DP, GB0915158, can be a credit broker regulated by FCA, FRN colon 667368. The Verdict There's not one smart forfa that defines kids, the Brabus and electric drive designs have entirely different characters and talents. Each one excels inside a different use case, and are united by one practical benefit, the diminutive size. In actuality, it becomes an advantage in extremis, parking spaces are made to accommodate larger cars, just like roads, and unlike a four-way you'll be able to park nose in or grab the half space left by inattentive or lazy town planners. As a smaller replacement for a supermini the Brabus will be the one that helps make the most sense, it's entertaining well equipped and justifies the cost premium. Going electric within a smart is usually a different matter, it's on the list of cheapest to alternatives on the market with four seats, and from the right scenario is surprisingly stress free. It could be a wonderful solution for city dwellers with usage of renewable energy, and affordable hire cars for trips. Find out a little more about this premium undertake the city car with full smart for fair review. Non-turbo engine will be the largest at 1.0 litre. Turbocharged 0.9 litre delivers useful pace. Brabus will be the most powerful but nonetheless not hot. Aside in the rotia Brabus derivatives, the Smart Forfa's performance is a best average, however for those who prefer to drive primarily in cities it's perfectly adequate. Two petrol choices for the main range. Ignoring the sportier Brabus. The Forfa has a collection of two Renault-built engines, that are installed beneath the boot floor and power the back wheels. The entry-level engine is merely known as being the 71 horsepower, its power output, because engine size badges and references are quickly becoming redundant in today's downsized motoring landscape. It's somewhat ironic then, that this could be the larger on the pair, an entirely 1.0 liter of capacity in three-cylinder format passing it on a distinctive thrum. Big powers delivered at 6,000 revolutions per minute meaning it has to be worked not easy to wring the interest rate potential from it but when you do it'll reach an electronically governed top speed of 94 miles per hour there's just 92 newton meters of torque on tap from 2,850 revolutions per minute ensuring it requires a yawning 15.9 seconds to accomplish the 0 to 62 miles per hour acceleration test. That's using the standard 5-speed manual gearbox. Pick the 6-speed dynamic dual-clutch automatic understanding that time reaches to 16.9 seconds. 
at least the shift actions are smooth or even especially quick. Making more sense, specifically if you venture beyond the town limits frequently, will be the turbocharged 0.9 litre motor, or perhaps the 90 horsepower in Smart's peak. That maximum's offered by 5,500 revolutions per minute, therefore you still have to work it quite hard, but there's a healthier 135 newton meters of torque provided by 2,500 revolutions per minute. Top speed, still governed, is 102 miles per hour, with all the manual posting a 0 to 62 miles per hour period of 11.2 seconds, 7 tenths quicker compared to the dynamic. Flagship Brabus provides extra speed. It's to get the best not to think in the four for Brabus to be a hot hatch, more a warmer one with increased pace to generate out of town driving that extra pleasurable. Powered by an upgraded version with the 0.9 lead turbo unit, there's 109 horsepower offered by 5,750 revolutions per minute, with 170 newton meters of torque made available from 2,000 revolutions per minute. There's a Brabus sports exhaust to enhance the oral effect which can be positively snarly at higher revs. The 6-speed dynamic automatic's your only transmission choice but it really has been revised with shorter gearing along with a 40% quicker response rate to allow faster changes and livelier acceleration. Top speed is 111 miles per hour nevertheless it can't dip under 10 seconds for the 0 to 62 miles per hour time, falling short by half another. 4 for electric drive. Removing the traditional engine on the forfer leaves a package ideally suited to electrification, along with principle the electric drive can be a very appealing entry level F. The motor is rated for 82 horsepower and 160 newton meters, with peak torque which is available from rest. However, weight increases to 1200 kilograms with all the battery packs that replace the fuel tank. 17.6 kW is sufficient yield and 96 mile range, though in real world conditions will drop based on your driving style, outside temperature and traffic levels. Supremely maneuverable out. Light steering and body roll ma fun. Brabus is much more engaging, but compromised. Since the engine is mounted at a corner of the car beneath the boot floor there's a lot of space available with the smart forfers front wheels to become steered, this means it has an almost comically small turning circle. It isn't quite as proficient at this as being the smaller Forto, however it's still extremely an easy task to maneuver through city centers. The steering is lighter and slightly less engaging than on smaller smart Forto coupe and cabriot wins. However it's still fairly communicative considering it's more likely to spend its days poodling about on city streets in lieu of B roads. Thanks to its longer wheelbase it's less prone compared to Fortway to pitch and dive during harder acceleration and braking but body roll is evident, using the onboard stability electronics working over time to maintain everything pointing from the right direction. Compared with smaller smarts the brakes feel more efficient, the vehicle being less skittish being a result largely as a result of it being heavier at a corner, and ride comforts better, too. Uprated Brabus Handling Supplementing the Brabus's extra engine grunt, Smarts revised the suspension settings that allows you to save the desires of keener drivers. Not only will be the dampers 20% stiffer than regular forfers, there's a front anti-roll bar to curb its tendency to lean over in corners by the further 9%. Those modifications along with remapped electronics with the stability systems, mean you are able to press up with greater vigor within the Brabus, carrying more speed through corners, although there's little extra feel communicated from the tweaked steering setup. Press on too keenly by having a corner and it'll push wide into understeer, your vehicle pushing wide through bends at speed, with accompanying tire screeching permanently measure. While it's undeniably more enjoyable than less powerful forfers, and losing none of these maneuverability, it lags behind rival sporty small cars, for instance quicker additions from the Fiat 500 as well as Abarth 500 and 19.5 Twin. Electric drive isn't electrifying. Swap the whirling turbochargers and reciprocating pistons from the conventional Forfa's engine for any spinning electric motor, plus the effect is less marked when compared to other BEV conversions due for the rear engine layout and generous sound insulation on standard smarts. Near silent operation, 
quieter than Renault Zoe, smooth but insistent power delivery as well as a general feeling of being able to dart responsively through traffic create a great first impression. On the trail, though, the smart spotty roll is marked and passengers won't thank you for spirited driving. Suspension that absorbs rough roads with a healthy pace with a plomb, becomes unsettled at A road speeds, dealing with 20% more importance from the battery power. On good roads the rider's remarkably composed to get a small car. Naturally the BEV version uses low rolling resistance tires. The fourth is safe understeer and stability controlled neutrality remains intact, and grip is not a priority within a car of the performance. Braking is really a blend of regenerative and conventional, and it is reassuringly responsive. Bold but functional dashboard. Vibrant colors on passion trim. Maintains Smart's premium image. Unsurprisingly the Smart Forfa's dashboard can be a facsimile in the one found from the Fortwo. That means bulbous gauges, sprouting instrument boards, bold shapes and materials and, about the proxy minimum of, vibrant colors. An awful lot of thoughts gone into so that it is look fresh and modern without becoming unusable. Immediately in front of you can be a large speedometer using a 3.5 inch trip computer nestled from it. The materials are great too, having a smattering of soft touch plastics, as the three spoke tire with fingertip controls looks rather grown up. The speakers look somewhat aftermarket with all the smartphone cradle available and we much choose to look and operation with the smart media system using its slick touch screen, but you'll pay more to the. It's a rebranded version of Renault's A Link package and you'll find most of the switch gear can also be sourced from your French brand. We thought it was relatively simple to find a good driving position, particularly while using comfort package installed, where there was great visibility too. Unfortunately the FA4 is suffering from firm front seats, we struggled with back comfort on longer trips and without lumbar adjustment there's little that might be done to boost this. Worse still, their chunky backrests encroach on rear space and slotting adults behind others within the smart will likely be tough. Smart have positioned the electric drive model upmarket, with leather seats and also the smart media system installed as standard. Occupying the center console using a minimalist touch screen interface, this Renault Derive setup falls miserably in short supply of modern interface requirements. Using media or hands-free features interrupts navigation display, and leader controls are tied to volume plus the rather unresponsive, TomTom -tom developed, voice control rear engine means more passenger space. Supportive front seats, rear headroom tight. Stiffer Brabus models maintain good comfort. Thanks with a 100mm wider body compared to the original Smart Forfa, comfort levels tend to be improved. There's plenty of shoulder room, easily enabling two adults to occupy the back seats. The small rear windows do feel slightly claustrophobic in support of pop open in lieu of slide into the door, though children likely won't notice. It's worth noting that the spine seats are somebody bare, as opposed to a bench, which looks good but means you'll never squeeze over four occupants in. Apartment, that rear doors are around the small side, that's fine for kids, but tight for lankier adults although the doors do offer to 85 degrees. And the boot is often a reasonable 185 litres, which isn't everything that bad for the Smart's rump also hosts the engine, which enables it to be expanded with a generous 975 litres. Don't expect any extra space in the bonnet though, nevertheless there is none. We noticed an affordable bit of wind noise when travelling at speed, but other than the forefer is quite quiet when you're driving and suffers little from the engine vibration that's much too apparent in small Fortwo. Having the engine at a corner helps help the passenger experience, liberating more room for people who have no motor shoehorned beneath the front bonnet. The downside is an engine underneath the boot floor may be noisier, so Smart has fitted a supplementary 40 kilograms of sound deadening around your vehicle when compared using the Twingo. It's a cozy car to drive out and about, using a supple ride quality and also the seats are happy, although an extra lateral support wouldn't go amiss. Unfortunately its tendency to read around corners is off-putting although there's ample space within the back for adults, 
taller people may possibly find that headrooms compromised, a corner pair are better suited to kids. Despite having 20% stiffer suspension and riding on larger, 17-inch, alloy wheels, the Brabus versions feel convenient on A and B roads but suffer marginally across rougher parts of road at urban speeds. Bold color combinations possible. Brabus trim may be the sporty choice. Personalization choice is vast. There are six trim levels to have your head around here with the four for range, Bure, Passion, Prime, Prime Premium, Prime Premium Sport and Brabus Exclusive. Standard Smart 4 for equipment. Pure models have 15-inch steel wheels with trims, an excellent metal roof and unpainted mirrors. Inside, cloth seats with height adjustment for your driver and black plastic dashboard trim. Smart sound system, and electrical power steering which has a height adjustable wheel will also be standard. Passion models still get a good amount of standard kit, including 15-inch alloy wheels. Automatic climate control, the smart speakers, a multifunction leather tire to control the multimedia system, a 3.5 inch color monitor, ISOFIX child seat mounting points inside rear and cruise control. There's also the clever watcher space rear seat package, two individual rear seats that has a removable storage box together. Moving around prime nets you a little more gear, having a panoramic roof, different 15 inch alloys, lane keeping assist. More dashboard mounted instrument boards, black leather seats, that fold within a 50-50 split inside the rear, with grey top stitching and heated front seats. Prime Premium applies for the electric drive, and gets heated leather seats and tyre, 15 inch alloys, a panoramic glass roof and smart media, satnav. It does not will include a height adjustable tyre, however. Prime Sport Premium models get further toys inside shape of two-tone contrast interiors, 16-inch black alloys, 10mm lower sports suspension, a chrome exhaust tailpipe, alloy pedals as well as a sports controls. Progress for the flagship Brabus exclusive for goodies like LED tail lights, heated front seats, perforated Napa leather upholstery and Brabus specific instrumentation, alongside a sporty body kit with rear diffuser chrome tailpipes and 17-inch monoblock 9 alloy wheels in a number of colors and finishes. There's another panoramic glass roof. Optional Smart 4 for accessories. There's a few options available here, many handily bundled together. The comfort package nets which you hide adjustable driver's seat and tire, and heated, electrically adjustable door mirrors. Premium equipment line adds the comfort package plus rear parking sensors plus the smart media system, a touch screen display with satnav, Bluetooth and voice control. Prime and Prime Sport Night Sky is usually equipped using a full-length sliding fabric roof, previously an alternative on all models. Selecting the Premium Plus equipment line increases both Premium and Comfort packs with ambient lighting, automatic follow you home headlights, front fog lamps, automatic wipers and also a rear view camera. Black or white paint costs no extra, but you will discover another 7 hues available. The same is true on the safety cell, while even radiator trim could be painted at expense. Depending upon the trim level you go searching for, other optional kit includes heated front seats, DAB digital radio, a panoramic glass roof, a smartphone cradle, forward collision warning and lane keeping assist. Smart takes personalization with a higher level than rival brands featuring its tailor-made service operated via Brabus. Here you may choose from a palette of colors and trims limited only from your imagination and budget. 4 star Euro and Cap Crash Test Rating Autonomous Emergency Braking Inaccessible Raft of other safety kit as standard there's a lot of equipment installed to be sure Smart 4 for safety levels are up to they might be, but you will find some notable exceptions. You've got 5 airbags in the beginning, but none from the rear, although within the positive side you'll appreciate the standard fit alarm and immobilizer, a failure kit, central locking, crosswind assist, which stops the auto being blown off course by gusts of wind, cruise control, hill start assist and isofix child seat points on the spined seats. The Forfa doesn't feature any kind of low-speed automatic braking, though. 
this is really a pity, because several cars inside sector get it, and it also affected the way the smart performed in your own cap crash tests, having a 4 star result, one behind the coveted 5 star score on the Volkswagen up as well as its seatman Skoda City Go stablemates. The electric drive model relies on a radar for regenerative braking mode, but won't go as much as providing adaptive cruise control or autonomous emergency braking, only warnings. Choosing Prime, Prime Sport or Brabus models nets you lane keeping assist, which warns visually and acoustically if you're drifting through your lane unintentionally. The premium package gets rear parking sensors, and also the premium plus package gets that you simply reversing camera, automatic lights and rain sensing wipers. Most spacious with the smart family. Rear doors offered to almost 90 degrees. Flat boot floor when seats folded over. There are a few clever touches making the smart forfers practicality better than many cars rolling around in its class. The primary feature in this respect will be the rear door opening. They're both accessible to 85 degrees, which really helps access the rear seats, particularly useful if you're attempting to slot a wriggling toddler right into a child seat. What matters more compared to smart's dimensions could be the agility in the city. A rear engine layout means there's a lot of space for top wheels to run. Combined with minimal overhangs as well as an upright driving position for great visibility, and you have a very car that you'll be able to th watch from the fabric of a typical city. It's only 10 to 15 centimeters shorter than many super minis, though, and you may choose to comfort and practicality great things about a larger car. Having the engine within the boot floor does limit space somewhat, but a lot less than you'd expect. There's the lowest lip on the boot, plus a flat, upright space with minimal intrusion. The rigid parcel shelf may also be quickly removed. Most people will quickly realize the boot floor a really convenient height for loading. You can fold the seat backs down inside a 50 hours 50 minutes split and folding both down your left which has a flat floor through the boot lip towards the back of leading seats. This means 975 litres of storage area. It's also possible to turn over the seat bases to the side use the trunk passenger area for bulky items, along with the front seat back may be folded fully forward for two long loads. In relating to the two rear seats there's a storage box with two cup holders, but this may be removed that has a simple pull or else required. There are cup holders within the front too, along with a pull-out drawer inside the center console along which has a rather small glove box. Electric drive models lose a small number of boot space with a pouch that carries the charging cables, you won't wish to leave home without them.